In this video, we're going to be configuring Duo and AMP integration. With this feature, you can have shared visibility between Duo and AMP for endpoints. What that means is that if AMP detects an endpoint is compromised, Duo can dynamically respond and restrict access to applications that the user is connected to. This is actually a pretty easy configuration, so it'll probably be a short video. Start out by logging into your Duo admin dashboard and navigating to Trusted Endpoint Configuration on the left-hand pane. We're going to have to configure and enable the Trusted Endpoint Configuration. That essentially will define the difference between a managed endpoint and a non-managed endpoint based on a Duo certificate that's installed on a managed endpoint. Click on the Configure Management Tools Integration button. As you can see, I can configure the device management tools on one tab and the endpoint detection and response system on the other tab. I can't configure the endpoint detection and response with AMP until I configure the device management tools first though. So I'll just go back to the other tab and add the Windows Enterprise Asset Management tool to start this configuration. And I'll keep the certificate at a one-year certificate. And I'll scroll back to the top of the screen and click Change to enable this integration. And I'll click the View Configuration Summary button on the bottom just to view what I've changed. Now that that's set up, I can add another integration by clicking the Add Integration button on the top right hand corner. I'll go to the Endpoint Detection and Response System tab and add the AMP for Endpoints integration. This will be very simple to do because what we'll have to do is create API credentials from AMP. So let's jump over to our AMP dashboard. In the AMP dashboard, navigate to Accounts and then API Credentials. What we're going to have to do is create API credentials with read-only access. I'm going to name these API credentials as Duo Integration. And after creating these keys, I'll copy the Client ID and API key. And then I'll switch back to the Duo dashboard to copy them in there. After copying these API credentials in, I'll click the Test Integration button to validate the credentials. We can see that it succeeded, and I'll go ahead and save this integration. And after that, I'll enable the AMP integration so I can now use it as a response in a policy. Now if I go back to the Trusted Endpoints configuration and go to the Endpoint Detection and Response System tab, I can see my new AMP for Endpoints integration. I can now use this in my policies as well. Navigate to Policies in the left-hand pane and click New Policy to create a new policy. Under the Trusted Endpoints section of the policy, we can ensure that endpoints that AMP deems to be compromised will be blocked from accessing browser-based applications. And that's pretty much all there is to that. Thank you for watching my video on the AMP Duo integration.